now to a power couple looking to provide kids easy and approachable ways to manage their anxiety. It's all part of their new picture book, Hattie Harmony, Worry Detective. Hey, with us now, the brain's behind <laughs> it. We have Elizabeth Olsen and her husband here, the theme musician, Robbie Arnett. I'm laughing, Robbie, because when we had that power couple in there, you kind of laughed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good with that title. I'm good with that title. Let's keep it going. <laughs> well, it's good to have you all here. The, the, do I have right, though, that you all were competitive in starting to write a children's book, that you all actually kind of got two different books going and then sent it in and see which one the publisher liked better? Was that really how this went down? It was more just a competition between the two of us. Um, we had started writing children's books before mm -hmm. and um, found a publisher who responded mostly to Robbie's writing. I'm more the editor. <laughs> and um, she had asked us to see if we could come up with something that revolved around children's mental wellness. Mm -hmm. And Robbie and I both wrote a book and showed one another, okay. and his idea was far better than mine, and that's wow. Hattie Harmony. <laughs> was that, is that all true, Robbie? It's pretty accurate. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He's a much better writer than I am. I, don't I mean, every writer needs an editor. No. Oh. Hey, okay, that's well played yeah. right there. Uh, the illustrations, they're so happy and beautiful. Did you all collaborate on that? How did that all come to pass? Yes, um, well, Penguin sent us, our, our publisher, they sent us multiple illustrators and Marissa Valdez was someone who could create character driven art with a lot of humor which we found was kind of hard to find and I mean Robbie's really the aesthetics but we we're really specific yeah, just, it with it felt timeless it felt classic it was really sweet and just and we weren't expecting her to be an animal either yeah that we was, talked about her being maybe being a little girl or you know children and then she came up with these these animals and it was just perfect. You know, we already had the school called Wildwood Elementary and it, oh. it, that was not intentional. <laughs> you know I'm happy that she's an animal. Um, <laughs> and we hear that this is going to be a series. There'll be more Hattie. Yes. 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 We, um, well, I, it, Hattie is a worry detective so there's a lot of opportunity for kids having um, first time experiences or really complicated big emotions doing lots of different activities. The, uh, the age range you're going for here, uh, one thing, but also you said the publisher wanted you all to maybe do something around mental health, but the age range you're going for, what are you all seeing or what was the publisher seeing that there's a need for this, for kids this age to be addressing things having to do with anxiety? I mean, Hattie's for the whole family. I think uh, it is three to seven. Yeah, yes, yeah, three to seven. <laughs> Technically, yeah. but it really it is for the whole family because it is. Sorry, Robbie. I didn't mean no, to no, 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 no. That's, that's <laughs> <laughs> I need an editor. <laughs> <laughs> that is. Uh, yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, so we, the, I, for developing minds, mm. it seemed um, when you go through the things that people want to focus on and it's about identifying first, giving the language of what certain things feel like. And so that's something that was important to us was to I identify first what they're feeling and then Hattie helps provide a tool. Um, and sometimes you don't need a physical tool, sometimes we have the tool like breathing with us. But so that that is that's the that is the, the way yeah, we the awareness structure. the awareness can be so empowering. And so that is yeah, targeting those young minds and, yeah, parents, grandparents. Yeah. I, I'd love to know where the passion comes from, where the idea came from to address this issue with children. Is it a personal issue for you all? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, I, I had a lot, of, a lot of firsts in my life. I moved around a lot as a kid, and that was a lot of, there was a lot of anxiety and stress around that, and so... It seemed fitting to put Hattie at first day of school and, you know, it's like going to class, reading in front of people, that's all finding your bus, that's all, you know, it's all nerve-wracking Yeah, stuff. And, and I, I don't think, I don't know if I was an anxious kid, but I was definitely started having panic attacks in my early 20s and that was confusing because I don't, I, it didn't have a source from childhood, it just felt, it felt like it just sprung on me and so that, that was a journey that I took where a lot of the tools that I learned <laughs> we threw in there, but made it the language a bit more relatable for kids or a bit um, easier for them to understand.
We had some help from professionals. Yes, yeah. we're not professionals. We had yeah. some. We had some professionals' eye professionals' eyes on it. Yeah. Well, it is good to have Robbie, you and your editor here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, everybody, yes, Elizabeth Olsen, Robbie Arnett, the power couple, as I mentioned. Yeah. Uh, you can pick up a copy of Hattie Harmony, Worry Detective. Uh, today is the launch yeah. day. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's official today. It's good congrats. to have you all here on yeah, this day. Right. Congrats, thanks all right? Yeah, congratulations, and thank you for being here. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.